Good morning, dear Swissies. Another day in paradise. But I have to say, this is typically November weather in Switzerland. On the mountains, there is already snow. But we are talking about above 2,000 meters above sea level. But it's on the way. <laughs> Yeah, there is. Um, <clears throat> there are some clouds on the way to Europe or to Switzerland, or probably both, and uh, they will bring some snow. Not that much snow, but they will bring some. Yeah, at the weekend, I guess. And this week is an up and down: <clears throat> clouds, rain snow above 2000 meters above sea level and the border of snow will come down at the weekend they are talking about uh, 1500 1300 meters so this is the altitude for example um wengen wengen is on 1300 i guess uh, Start, for example, is on 1,000 meters. <clears throat> Was can you know? <laughs> yeah, and uh, maybe you remember I asked you which city I should visit when it will snow. And then um, many of you told me or wrote um, I should visit Lucerne. But I tell you now something <clears throat> about snow and cities in Switzerland. Most of the bigger cities like Lucerne, Zurich, Bern, they are on a low altitude. I guess Bern is about, I don't know, 500. Lucerne probably the same. Um, this is very, very low. <clears throat> so, for your understanding, in the lower areas, the temperatures are higher, of course, um, than in the uh, higher areas yeah sounds weird <laughs> yeah but yeah it's 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 logic because <clears throat> when you are uh, high on the mountains it's colder yeah and that's why it snows more often than in a city so of course I will try to go to Lucerne when it will snow there but yeah that must be really a, a lucky visit you know yeah but I will try yeah you know, it's it, for me. It's um, always a challenge to show you videos or pictures um, which you don't see a lot. You know, so like snow in Lucerne <laughs> or snow in Zurich. Yeah, but it's yeah. It's, that's really about uh, timing. And if I am around at this time exactly, you know, I'm probably somewhere else. And so it's. Yeah, but I will try it for you, girl. Ah, we have some little sunlight on the on the left trees. Schön. I love this mid-season. Huh? The trees are still a little bit in color. Not too much, just so. <clears throat> and the mountains already have uh, snow on the peaks. Yeah, I love it. And today's plan is to go for a hike with Rasta in our favorite valley uh, where we probably see no one <laughs> yeah but um, yeah we love hikes like this when we just when we are just on our own yeah and yesterday I was um, on the way for Kirwalstättersee cruise and that's why Rasta wasn't with me he was with my partner and uh, that's why we have to yeah spend some time together to move hole <laughs> yeah we hike four hours because he didn't hike two hours yesterday no it just we enjoy our time um, we enjoy the moment because this is the most important thing in life enjoying the moment you don't know what what will happen tomorrow you never know it, you know. We we all live like 
there is a tomorrow, but we don't know. Ah, look the sunlight. Oh, thank you, dear son. You are so kind. Ah, she just came out for me. I'm right sure. Yeah, bit <laughs> Yeah. So we're driving now to into the direction of Meiringen, but the hardcore Swissies already know it. <clears throat> where I am and uh, then we turn to the right and then we go into the Rosenlaui Valley yeah yeah but there is no snow up there I hoped to to be able to show Rasta some snow but yeah it's too warm it's still too warm yes for snow in the lower areas I can't tell you a lot of my plans uh, about my plans this uh, month, month, <laughs> because um, I don't know it, you know. I don't know. I have to check the weather. Oh, doch, I, I know something. I know not one thing. Uh, at the weekend, we will go up to Niederhorn. Yeah, because uh, Niederhorn is on about. 1,900 meters above sea level I guess so so that means they will have snow for sure not one meter but they will have some snow on the ground so that's why we go up and we stay overnight there because you need to know at the moment all the mountain hotels or anyway all the cable cars and almost everything is closed yeah so if you want to go up on a mountain you have to hike yeah four hours and then you're there but then you have to go back home or you take your tent and but it's quite cold to to stay overnight on the top of a mountain in a tent <clears throat> well for me <laughs> yeah i wouldn't stay in a tent with minus 10 degrees it's for me it's too cold you know I prefer to stay in a cozy mountain hotel <laughs> yeah if possible so that's why we stay <clears throat> up at Niederhorn we have a good time there and I hope that Rasta will enjoy the snow yes and then next week we will see yeah I'm scanning all weather forecasts possibilities <laughs> yeah to be prepared because there are some places where I can go with my car which are reachable uh, on about 1500 meters it's like Schwarzwald Alp uh, from there I could hike up to um, Große Scheidegg in about two hours so yes, I'm waiting for uh, that the snow is on 1,500 meters. So I have more possibilities to go with Rasta, you know. Yes. Until now, it's just... Yeah, it's just having fun. <laughs> yeah, that's not the, the worst idea, right? Yeah. So, now we uh, on the left it's Meiringen. Yeah. And on this uh, circle, second that circle, we go on the right, <clears throat> and then it's a little bit curvy, so I will not record it then. Otherwise, you have to <laughs> clean up your stomach. So I just uh, go this way. Yeah, and also Adelschlucht is closed, Reichenbach uh, uh, the train is closed, everything is closed in November, you know. Yeah, it, it's like it is, you know. Yeah, less people, it's not worthy to open, so they keep it closed. So I thought it does. <laughs> it's so simple. <clears throat> okay, that's a really slow car. But yes, soon we are on the mountain road up to Rosenlaui. And then when the good part is coming, I record again. Yeah? I 
tell you something about the roads up to Schwarzwald Alp in winter. It is not like the, the bigger roads in Switzerland, which are normally cleaned black, you know. Um, on this road, <laughs> after a certain altitude, they they leave it, you know. So it's it's a snowy road. So if you want to visit Rosenlawi with your own car in the winter and you are not used to drive on snowy roads you better leave it <laughs> you know because um, it is a narrow road when there is a lot of snow and the other car is coming from from above or wherever there is almost no space to cross so that means one has to go back yeah and if you are not used to and if your car don't have four-wheel drive it will be probably a challenge <laughs> yeah so um, but there is another possibility in winter during high, se uh, high season yeah during um, for example December Christmas during Christmas time and Sylvester there is a uh, uh, post car post outdoor running yeah because they are sledding from Große Scheidegg down to Schwarzwald Alp so check the 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 schedule for the post auto Schwarzwald Alp if you want to come up they are used to this road okay and they have snow chains on the uh, on the pneu <laughs> um, if if it is yeah necessary but anyway it is not the worst idea to put on snow chains at home just to to know how it goes <laughs> yeah I'm doing this every every season before I go into the snow I exercise at home. <laughs> to put the snow chains on yeah so yeah if you want to visit this valley please yeah be aware okay I saw many cars on this road yeah Sine von Vlacko just stuck in the road and couldn't go back and forward you know yeah, it's just not so lustig. Because it's curvy, it's steep, and there is ice on the road and snow. It's really not worthy. So wait for the auto, post auto, okay? Here you have to pay. I don't have to pay because I have a vignette. Huh? You can buy a, a yearly uh, pocket. And so I am allowed to go up whenever I want to gel. yeah okay I, I think I, I will uh, continue recording because then you see what I mean curves like this with snow on it and now imagine a car is coming and you have not that space because on the left and on the right there are the snow hills yeah I just see mine. <laughs> I told you, I told you. So you need to be used to drive on roads like this when they are snowy. I once drove up with half a meter of snow and I have a four wheel drive. I had to stop and I had to put on the snow chains because it was even not possible for my four-wheel drive car to go through this half meter of snow. With the snow chains it was not a problem. Yeah. You know there are so many tourists that just think, yeah, I want to see Rosenlaui in winter and then they think the road is, is cleaned, but it's not. 
and unfortunately it's not written um, when you go into the valley sometimes they write that you have to take snow chains with you but sometimes they just don't care interesseert jij nog niet oh look the wellhorn huh? in deeply snowy schön yeah it looks a little bit different than in summer girl. and always be aware in every second the car can come around the corner girl. they already prepared these these sticks you see with the red color yeah this is um for for the snow or for the machine who wants to put away the snow that the machine or the, the man who is driving the machine the snow plow <laughs> uh, where the the border is of the road you know yeah it's important because there are some steep uh, parts on this road and if you go down it's not that lustig <laughs> yeah it's not that funny no really don't go this road if you are not used to drive in snow okay just don't do it it's not worth it wait for december and the post auto is also running in uh, in the sports holidays yeah you can google um, Schlittelbus, sledding bus Schwarzwald Alp and then you will find all informations well yeah I used to take the the post auto with uh, Rasta and then we go up to Große Scheidegg and then we uh, do snowshoe hiking down to Schwarzwald Alp that's very very nice yeah because sledding with Rasta I don't know <laughs> he's too hibbly he's too nervous he, he would run into my sled 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 You see, curvy, curvy, curvy. Huh? And as you can see, you don't see a lot when a curve is coming. You don't see. Uh, ah, there's a good tip I can give you. If you're used to drive on roads like this, and you don't know what what is around the corner like this, you know, you just to swoop. So if someone is coming, he can hear you and he can stop here. Yeah? In winter it is necessary, really. Yeah, useful information, Skal. Yeah. You won't read this in a in a rise if you're in a travel book. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, but on weather like this, there's always no one, uh, almost no one driving up or down. Um, there are some locals, but I guess the farmers, they are already in the valleys with, with the cows, you know. But uh, the, the owners from the hotel and the restaurant at Schwarzwald Alp, they have children. So the school bus is coming up and down. And sometimes they have to go shopping too. And so, yeah. So there are some locals living here, also in winter, but not that many. And this is my really, really favorite valley in winter for Rasta and me. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, Roslawi. Schwanten Mart. 
Remember the uh, Alpine descents I recorded here? Yeah, it looks a little bit different, gun. Yeah. But now it's time to time to hike, Rasta. Huh? Yeah, give me a bandere. Huh? With one bye and the other. There is also a winter wanderweg. Yeah. You can do a winter hike here. As you can see, no one is here. Moose by a lie. Time to hike. It is totally silent. No cows here anymore. No other animals. Well, there are some wild animals. But they are in the forest. That's why I will take Rasta on the leash in the forest. Come, baby, come, come. <laughs> yeah, you're waiting, huh? To play with the leaves. <laughs> Is Shangri in the to? Some people are regularly asking if there are no dangerous wild animals in Switzerland. Uh, fact is, uh, we have many wolves again, and uh, this is quite a problem for the farmers and their cows on the Alps. Yeah, because the the Zala, uh, the count of dead animals is rising up from year to year how oh, the amount of animals yeah of dead animals because of the wolves yeah so i don't know yeah am i afraid i don't know i know that wolves are quite shy and i'm not afraid of wolves and uh, you know when Rasta is smelling something, and then, yeah, he's aware. And he looks at me and then, mom, something is wrong. And then we are both aware. Yeah. But actually, I don't know what I would do if uh, a wolf came to me. I don't know. Maybe push, go away. <laughs> something like this. Oh, found a stick. Wow. I guess this one is a little bit too big. No? Rasta, I guess it's too big. Huh? You probably want to know if Rasta is hunting wild animals. Huh? I'm lucky enough that he's listening very good. Rasta! Answer! So when I call him, yeah, good boy! Yeah, he's coming back to me. <laughs> yeah, so when, when I see that he's, he has something in his nose, I just call him and then he's coming back. And if necessary, I take him on the leash. Well, good boy. So if you want to do this winter hike, you don't have to worry that you get lost because these sticks with the pink color are showing you the way. Yeah. Also, this hotel is closed. They reopen 
in December, I guess. Well, I should do this once, huh? So in the winter wonderland, as you should. You see, this is the sledding thing I told you, huh? And this is the Schittelbus. <laughs> and although the pass road is open for the post auto, it's forbidden to drive up with your own car, okay? Just don't do it. <laughs> Did you know that there is also a gorge? It is the Rosenlavi Gorge. We are finally back where we started. Yeah, Ali Ali. Yeah. Take out your last energy. Yeah, yeah. Come, hu, ali, ali. <laughs> yeah. The final run. <laughs> yeah, house is good. Okay, promise, huh? Next time I show you this hike in the winter wonderland. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.